In this procedure, you will learn how to position and drape the patient for examination of the back and rectum and for certain surgical procedures. Greet and introduce yourself to the patient. Good morning, Jennifer. I'm Julie, Dr. Anderson's medical assistant. Uh, before we get started, can I get your name and date of birth? Sure. Jennifer Jansen, June 23rd. Then confirm the patient's identity using her name and date of birth. Great. Sanitize your hands. So Dr. Anderson's going to be doing a rectal exam today. Explain the procedure to be performed in a manner that is understood by the patient. Answer any questions the patient may have about the procedure. So you're going to have to be in a slightly uncomfortable position for this exam, but I'll help you get into that correct position. Uh, but before we can do that, depending on the provider's preference, the patient may be instructed to completely undress and put on a gown so that it opens in the back, or to just undress from the waist down. Tell the patient that the gown should be open in the back. But before we do that, I'm going to have to have you undress and put the gown on with the opening down the back. Provide assistance as needed. Do you need any assistance? No, I think I'll be fine. Thanks. Good. I'll give you some privacy. Give the patient privacy while changing. Knock on the examination room door before re-entering to make sure the patient has completed undressing and gowning. Come in. I'm ready. Hi, Jennifer. How are you doing today? Good, thanks. Do not place the patient in the knee chest position until the provider is ready for that part of the examination. Okay, we're ready to start the exam. Julie, can you get her into the correct position? Sure. Pull out the table extension. Help the patient lie down on her back and then have her turn over into the prone position. Ask the patient to raise herself onto her knees, spread her knees apart, and lean forward onto the head so that her buttocks are raised. Tell the patient to keep her back straight and turn her face to one side. The patient should rest her weight on her chest and shoulders. If the patient has difficulty maintaining this position, an alternative is to place weight on her bent elbows with her head off the table. To provide her with warmth and privacy, Drape the patient diagonally so that the point of the drape is on the table between the legs. After the examination has been completed, assist the patient as needed to get off the table and get dressed. Okay, do you need any help getting off the table or getting dressed? No, I think I'll be fine. All right, I'll give you some privacy. Before cleaning the exam table, put on a pair of disposable gloves. Dispose of used examination table paper according to facility policies. To prevent the transmission of pathogens from one patient to another, use disinfectant wipes to clean the exam table and all potentially contaminated surfaces. Then dispose of your used gloves. Once the exam table is dry, pull clean paper over it. When you're finished, sanitize your hands. Follow up with the provider's orders regarding scheduling of diagnostic studies, collection of specimens, and or scheduling of future appointments.